So this is the fence that I just finished. It came out really nice. Now I've got to build another fence. And it's not going to be a fun one because it's behind all, all these bushes here. But I built that one, I want to say three years ago. And this homeowner uh, has been staining and, and keeping up with the fence so that it doesn't end up looking like that one. Yeah, so it's not going to be fun. Today the goal is to remove this old fence, which is about a hundred feet, about a hundred feet long. God, it's a long fence. This fence looks like it was stained at one time, but uh, it's not wearing very well. So it's not going too bad. Got my first, oh, six, seven foot section of fence removed. And just gonna keep on going. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get all of this in my pickup truck. I was hoping to get it all in there, but I have a feeling I have to break this up into two days and uh, two trips to the dump. I've got 50 inches between the wheel wells of my truck, so I'm trying to get as much in there as possible so it puts me at 53 so this picket right here is where I'm gonna make my next cut in order to get the largest piece in between the wheel wells Now that the truck is filled up above the wheel wells, I can start taking 60 inch panels. That'll fit through the tailgate and we can maximize how much we can take out of here today. See there's a lot of broken posts. I've got about 40 feet taken out and this battery is about half dead. You got the little indicators on there. What I don't want to happen is I don't want them to get overheated. So I'm going to take that one out even though it's not all the way dead. Put this one in. I'll let this one cool for 10 or 15 minutes and, and put it on charge. Got lucky. I had a uh, barbed Whatever that is, coupler and two stainless steel hose, clamp, hose clamps. So there is a hundred foot long, six foot tall, rotten privacy fence all in the bed of this truck. So we're squatting a little low and I'm going to show you what happens when I um, air up my airbags. Instant lift kit.
place is nasty. I usually wear a mask, but I forgot it at, at home. I'm going to start building a fence today. And one thing I want to point out is I can't use, or the reason why I can't use any sort of power auger. Um, getting one down through here, I guess you could do it, but it's probably more trouble than it's worth. Getting it in and around all these bushes isn't going to work out very well. But overall, building a fence is extremely easy. The only thing that takes much skill, and I think it just takes more patience than anything, is to set the posts in a straight line. So I'm just following the old fence, and you can see this is where I broke off one of the old posts. And I'm going to set my string line right on it, right there. And I'm only doing a small section at a time. This is probably only 35 feet, 40 feet. And you can see that the old fence was not straight at all. Because this string line is set up back there where there was a post. And it's on the complete opposite side. So we'll, we'll get this sucker straightened out. And, geez. All right, well, yikes. I actually just threw away a piece of this that I had bought the other day to do a different one. Gotta get that fixed. got all of our fence pickets laid out and the fence rails and posts have been stained it's kind of funny one neighbor decided to stain his side before I put it up and the other neighbor is going to stain his after I put it up so it's kind of odd putting the nicer side on the inside because usually the nice side goes on the other side so here is where I've started and I only do a certain 
oh, length of fence pickets at a time because you can get a little droop in your, your string. So this is about 10 foot section and then I'll move the string down. Um, I'll probably just eyeball it going through this tree here. And then on the picket that's out here, I'll set it up to go maybe 10, 15 feet down. just about got all the pickets screwed to the fence and it's time to make a gate. The customers requested that I build the new gate exactly the same as the old gate was built and they even want me to use the the old hinges and gate latch. So what I'm going to do is use this as a template and uh, try to make an exact replica. I got everything cut out. Now I'm just going to use these three inch screws right here and uh, see if I can screw these angled pieces together, something like this. And then go from there. See how I, I don't think this gate works until all the pickets are actually attached. this video about a month ago and it appears that I lost some video footage. I don't have a final walkthrough of what the fence looked like when it's all done. Uh, you did get to see me put the gate together. Um, it took me about four days. If you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up.